Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Skype. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to add a contact to your list and I'm also briefly going to show you a couple of ways to uh, to categorize or to group your contacts. By the end you should have intermediate knowledge with adding a contact to your list so you could uh, make a phone call. Excuse me, I guess you can't say phone call anymore. It's a, it's a call. Um, adding a contact to your list is extremely easy. Uh, there's one of two ways that you can do it. If you already know the name of the person that you're trying to reach, you can just go ahead and click on Add Contact, and then enter the email address, or the full name, or the Skype name, just like it says here. Okay, and if we don't know the name of the person that we're trying to reach, we can search for uh, Skype users. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can uh, try to filter out uh, who we're looking for. We could select it by country, or we could select it by state or city, even languages. Okay, whether they're female or male, and even an age range. Okay, so once we fill out the name, we just click on Find. I'm just going to leave it blank so pretty much anybody comes up here. Okay, and here we go. How about Chewbacca <laughs> in Spain? Just select the name from the from the menu here. And click on Add Skype Contact. Okay, and when you first add someone as a contact, you can send them sort of a hello message. Okay, you can put your message right in here, and we will just put hello. Okay, we click OK, and then they are sent a message saying that we want to add them as a contact. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and close, but we could still go ahead and try to uh, give them a call if we want to. Okay. Now the way to tell if your contact is online is right here, this icon right here. Okay, if this contact was online, it would look like this icon right here. It would just be a, a green um, sort of balloon or cloud looking thing with a check mark in the, in the middle. And offline means it's gray and there's a question mark. Okay, so now we can go to view and we can sort our contacts in alphabetical order, like so, or their online status. Okay. And if we wish, we can also hide the contacts that are offline and have call forwarding. And we can hide the contacts that aren't sharing details, which means that they have not accepted you as a contact on their list. Okay, remember how I said before when, um, when we click on add that person as a contact and then close the window, it sends them a message. It sends them a hello a hello message and it also requests that um, you be put on their contact list okay so they can accept or they can deny that and if they deny it that means that you will you won't find out the details or you won't have the details you'll get a message uh, just like this this user has not shared his or her details with you I'm going to show you the message that that you get okay you'll hear an audio sort of tone and you'll get a message at the lower right saying John Doe request contact details from me and this is what you get okay or decline okay let's decline that for right now so that is how you add a contact uh, to your list and once you've added a contact, you can go ahead and you can call that person to your heart's delight, uh, free of charge, as long as they are using Skype on a PC. 
And if you um, wanted to use the pay service, you can also call uh, land-based tel uh, telephone lines. So the choice is up to you, but, um, you know, like I always say, free is for me. So um, go, you should have intermediate knowledge with how to add a contact to your contacts list, and you shouldn't have any trouble making a call. So thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes Tutorials.